Hello to everyone again, this is Martin from How to Make Mobile Games and this is another developer diary video We're using uh, Unity 3D uh, for one of our games that we developed called Ninja Bird X which is kind of um, similar to Angry Birds and it's kind of it was intended to be more, sort of an Angry Birds training game so for those of you who don't know the developer diaries basically are not a tutorial video it's, it's just a video recording of how uh, of me working as an independent game developer, a programmer and designer, and how I build and distribute games inside using Unity 3D uh, on iPhone, on Android, and then also a little bit on on web as well through sites like Congregate.com. So uh, it's like I say that this is a kind of targeted at people who maybe are interested in game development, or perhaps those of you who just want to know how game developers do what they do. Um, you know, indie indie developers, uh, more specifically like myself. So, um, as I mentioned in my other videos, I'm actually going to be doing more tutorial videos eventually. Um, probably starting off with a Pong style game, um, so that people can actually follow along and copy the code and get a build working inside of their um, inside of their PC or inside of their Mac, and then eventually onto their iPhone or Android. So people will be able to copy that really easily. So. This one is, you know, if you guys have any questions or if there's anything you want to know or if there's something that you see inside of the um, inside of the Unity uh, the Unity sort of build and the, the code that I'm making here, you know, please please ask us no problem and, and feel free to use the code on whatever you're seeing as well. This is uh, this is quite an open uh, an open project. So um, what I'm trying to do in this video is basically um, uh, is convert a an iPhone game into a web web playable game. Um, and part of the reason is that, is that so people can play it on the web through a website but also so pe uh, some people can do reviews on their PC which is great I can give them a build of the game and then they can do a review on the PC which makes it a little bit easier to play uh, and easier to do recordings of so Unity has that functionality Unity allows you to build for iPhone, Android, uh, web and then a bunch of other platforms as well so what I've got to do here is basically all I've done is gone into the file settings uh, file build settings and then I've clicked on web and then I've clicked switch platform and what that does is it converts it into a, a web uh, a web game so for those of you who don't know Ninja Birds uh, Ninja Birds game uh, is basically uh, like I said a, a kind of Angry Birds uh, training game it's a lot harder so I'm just gonna play quickly here so that you can see and I'm using my mouse here usually on the, on the iPhone or Android you, you obviously tap the screen to get things done and all you do is just drag the ninja bird in the corner and try to hit these targets. The more that you hit for a single shot, the more points you get. So the first one will give you one point, two points, and so on. The top left shows the score and the high score as well. If you do throw one of the birds but you miss all of the, the target objects, these little green halos, then your score gets reset it back to zero. So part of the influence of this game is actually Paper Toss as well because it uses the same sort of scoring system. Uh, Paper Toss is basically, oh that was good, 33. Um, Paper Toss, uh, you know, if you miss one then the score gets reset it back to zero and oh, I just about hit it. But this game I've actually found kind of fun and it's, it's more casual, um, as in it's a slower paced game, it's not much of a, a kind of speed twitch game. So back to zero, there you go. But this is this is more of a casual game and it's a little bit more relaxing than the other games in the X series like uh, Alpha Jetpack X, uh, Tap Tap X, Accelerate X, uh, Temple Run Training and so on. Um, so the first thing is, like I said before, I want to convert this into a web playable game. Um, so what I did is actually clicked on build settings and then switch the platform. Um, for those of you who don't know what this program is, it's called Unity 3D, and you can download it for free at uh, unity3d.com. Uh, in the top right, there's a download button. Just go to that. You can download it for free, and there's a bunch of great tutorials on there as well. But if you guys give me any comments, tell me what you'd like to see in these videos, tell me what you're interested in, or what you might be having some problems with, then I can help you with that uh, and do, do some videos for you guys. So I do hope you enjoy these videos, because I'm just sort of developing and talking at the same time. Which is good fun for me. Um, so next thing is, I tried to build it, but I got some bugs. I got some bugs. Um, so what I'm going is to the console here, which is basically a bug report. Um, I'll have to build it again because I actually cleared it before. I cleared the console. 
So what we'll do is um, click. I'm clicking Command and B on my Mac. Um, click Control and B. Now that little notification sound said there was some bugs. Now here you go. So the first one is an iPhone setting error because what it is um, is basically because we're targeting the web platform. Um, uh, anything that relates to iPhone settings won't be uh, recognized. Uh, I don't exactly know how that works inside of the program itself, but what we need to do is just to state, hey, that this code here should only be read or executed if we're on an iPhone, um, because if we don't do that, then then we're going to cause some crashes, or we're going to cause some bugs. Um, I don't know what this is about. Okay, All right, that's fine. Okay, so the code that it's actually referring to is an add adapt to iPhone settings. Um, line 43, so add adapter. Okay, line 43. Okay, so you see here it's actually highlighted it for me. Um, and this is mono developed. This is this comes with Unity as well, and it's the uh, uh, it's the scripting IDE, I think you call it, the integrated development environment. But it allows you to edit the script and then call. It, you can type in code and it'll sort of guess what the code is before you, as you're typing it. Great little pro, great little uh, uh, application. So, update, let me just, okay, so add adapter is actually the in-game advertisements that are used, in, uh, that were used inside of uh, Ninja Birds X on the iPhone and Android. I think this is just the iPhone version, uh, because obviously it says iPhone. And what this does is allows us to switch, uh, this part actually allows the ads to switch rotation. If you turn the phone, then the, the ads will sort of flick to the other side so that they're always facing up. I think that's what this code here does. This is this is actually a plugin. It's not done by me. So, but what we want to do is just say, hey, this is only iPhone. So, since add adapter relates just to the iPhone, what we want to do is basically use a. I think these are called pre directives. So, if um, hmm, blah 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 blah, add adapter. If Unity underscore iPhone. In fact, we should just be able to surround the entire update function. This is a this this is a function here. Um, I'm not going to do programming 101, uh, the basics, but it's a function. If you see this sort of void and update with the parentheses, um, we just call these functions. So end if. Okay. So I think that should work because we only want what this does is this says to the to the engine to the compiler it says only compile this code only run this code if we're on an iPhone if we're not if we're on any other platform Android web and so on then don't execute this code and I think all of this just relates to ads in the iPhone and since the web version will not have ads inside of the game that's no problem. So let me, okay, so that was ad manager line 43. And on the bottom right, you can see here, it's compli compiling and checking it. So I'll see if this actually works. What I'll do is just click con uh, command and B as well, or control and B on the PC. And we have another error, of course, because I'm going down the list. Okay, so ad mob GUI manager. Uh, has a problem and it, again it refers to iPhone settings line 31 so double click on this again and it's probably just going to be the same the same uh, the same error so what I can actually do add mob GUI manager ah uh, yeah yeah add mob GUI manager yeah this is this is basically uh, the plugin provider that I use gives these uh, uh, these files these scripts to help uh, as an example so I can probably just surround all of this code, add mob GUI manager with iPhone. Uh, so the same as before. So let's just get rid of all of these other scripts that we don't need to see right now. Just close these. That just makes it a little bit easier to read. So we're just going to grab this pre pre directive, pre compiler directive. I think that's what they're called. And we're just going to surround the if and the else loop. And we're going to say end. You can see this gets commented out. When it's blue like this, it becomes commented out. It means that the 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 uh, the compiler doesn't read this code. Uh, 
but we can still read it inside of the inside of the uh, the code editor inside of mono develop. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, you can see on the bottom right here it's compiling. And we're still going to have a couple of errors at the moment, of course, but I'm just going to clear this and I'm going to do another build. <laughs> yeah, another error has popped up, that's fine. Okay, iPhone keyboard. Yeah, so relating to the iPhone again. So I'm just going to cut this video here, guys, and I'm going to come back to another one so that I'm not going over the, uh, uh, the full amount of time for YouTube, which I think is 15 minutes. So I will come back in a moment and stay tuned for the next video.